Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The uh, practice today, how was it compared to uh, the Tuesday of this past week? Uh, practice is the same regardless of what week it is. We just preparing for a good UAB team. You know, they won their conference, the USA conference last year. Uh, we just driving, like we practice. So it's not about the other team, it's about us. Chang, what kind of, what does it say about the Georgia defense that it took you this long to play consistently and there's other guys with a lot of ability that have to wait a long time to play a lot of downs? Mm-hmm. I say uh, UGA defense has always been good in my eyes. So, like, we just trying to, like, regardless of who out there, it's a standard. We always, like, just trying to carry the tradition. I feel like it was good. Trez was here with Monty, uh, Roquan. You just have a lot of good uh, legends here that's been playing that's in the league now that's just been doing the job. We don't want to let them down, and we don't want to let ourselves down. So we just going to keep pushing. Let's go to Chip Towers and then Anthony Dasher. Yeah, Channing, that, that was uh, such a dominant defensive effort, uh, or, or it certainly seemed so from where we were sitting. But I know you guys are, are very critical and attention to detail and all that kind of stuff. So looking back and reviewing that tape, what, what did you guys come away with? It, was it possible that you could have done even better than you did? Uh, of course, a big thing we've been talking about lately is takeaways. So we there was we made a lot of plays, but there was so many more plays we could have made out there. Like just uh, just takeaways, just like hauling at the ball. That's just been a big thing for us, getting at the ball on the defensive side of the ball, just composure and attention to detail on that. So uh, next week we're going to – like this whole season, we're just going to focus on that. Hey, Channing, good to see you tonight. Um, what, in your opinion, stands out about the uh, trio of yourself, the Kobe and Clay at middle linebacker? Uh, I feel like we all, like, uh, whoever, I feel like outside, like, I, I, I don't want to just talk for us. I'm going to say uh, me, Quay, Nicobe, Jamon that just came in, Smile that just came in, everybody's athletic, and we compete every single day. Like, there is, like, there is literally, everybody makes a play at least one or two plays every, every single day of practice. It's very competitive in our room, and we just keep pushing each other. So, it, like, just us trio, like, that's not uh, – by the end of the year, like, those not just the three names you're going to be hearing. But <laughs> I bet believe that. Let's go to Mike Griffith and then Mark Weiser. Uh, yeah, can you tell me a little bit about what UAB likes to do on offense, just in terms of some of the tendencies you picked up on? Uh, well, right now we're very early into looking, but from what I've seen so far, they run a lot of unbalanced formations. So, and they they have two really good uh, red shirt senior tight ends. So we've been focusing on them. They like to uh, get them out a lot on different routes, uh, sneak them, sneak them by, things like that. So like, we're really just being eye disciplined things. Jerry, I think Adam Anderson was talking to us about his his uh, forty time. Um, did you get some testing done in the off season? Um, and is your speed, um, you know, off the field? How does that compare to like your football speed and your football instincts? Uh, I'm just a freaking nature all together. I'm gonna just say that. Uh, we <laughs> did get some testing done. I wasn't, uh, unfortunately, like I wasn't here when they uh, gave like gave out our results, so we're not for a test, but uh, I, I just want to keep pushing and worry about the opponent this week. Uh, I feel like the film will show for itself about speed, and I like when the time comes, that's when I'll be worried about all that. But right now, I'm just worried about the opponent. Go to Catherine Lewis and then Jake Rowe. Hey, uh, kind of switching gears, I wanted to ask you, um, just from a player's perspective, what were your thoughts on players like Brock Bowers and Lab McConkey making such a big impact in their first college football game and it being such a big game at that. You said Brock Bowers and Lab McConkey? Yes. Okay. Funny story on Brock Bowers. When we first got in, we was we saw Brock, we was like, okay, okay. So we was running uh during the summer, we was running gases. So we was running forties. It was like go as fast as you can. So it's like me, Adam against the line, Brock. And like, we all trying to compete against each other. I go on the line, Brock beats us all, like Five different times. LeBron is like one of the most athletic kids I have ever seen at Titan that's come here so far. And then Lad is just like a hard worker. He's like a workhorse. Like regardless of what's going on, what position he's in, he's gonna keep working, working. I was just very proud of him. 
for all the work he's done, and, and, and it's finally starting to show for him. But Brock, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, too. And I think he showed that um, last Saturday. Cannon, you, you've had a role uh, at some point or another in all three of your first three years on campus. But Saturday night was – it seemed like it was a little different. You made a couple of plays that, that, you know, showed up kind of prominently on social media, kind of ran a play, couple of plays down. Um, playing against a home state school, how fun was that for you? How fun was that to be in that environment and do those things? And, and you know, looking back on it, is that something you maybe will always remember is that game? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, so just up the street. I felt like a home game to me. You know, Jordan Davis, one of my best friends in the team, and he's actually from Charlotte. North Carolina stuff. So we was turning up, we was getting right all day, all game for the uh for the for the game. But uh other than that, like we just played our heart. It don't like regardless of what the team is, you know we have to show up each and every day. So like we don't work like it's not a really about the team. It's just about us being us, like improving on what we have to improve on. So now we just worried about UAB and improving <laughs> improving ourselves from that standpoint. Let's go to Brandon and then Roddy. Hey, uh, Channy, actually, uh, following up on Jordan there, I know that in the past years we've talked to you about going back to uh, Columbia, but can you speak on what it was like to see Jordan perform how he did? Like, what type of things were you telling him on the sidelines as he came up with those huge plays being back in his hometown? Uh, I uh... I've known Jordan for a long time. I was very proud of him. He was very focused before the game. I seen him, he was listening to like Kanye West song, Homecoming. I'm sitting here singing a Homecoming song with him on the sidelines, trying to get him ready. He hyped. He out there blowing kisses to the crowd. Ah! But boy, was getting too hyped. I just felt, I was really happy for him. But just seeing that juice in him and him doing good at how he's doing now, it's just like a really good experience, especially with him doing it at home. Kenny, walk me through one of those plays where you came, um, you shot through the middle and had a tackle for loss. You jumped up, waving your finger, telling him no. Walk me through that play, if you would. Uh, well, that's one of the plays we have been working on for uh, practice for a while. It was a swipe play. So I seen the tackle that came down. So automatically, I seen the Kobe had took the, uh, the, the down block from the tight end. So I just rushed the gap after that. I was just tracking angles and then if you look like everybody else was tracking the ball too so even if i wasn't there like the whole defense was like on, on it so go to uh, let's go to palmer and then jed yeah channing it was pretty clear that you're excited about some of those younger guys jamon and, and uh and smile what what are you looking forward to seeing of them saturday if, if they're able to get out on the field against uab uh just holding the standard I, honestly Going out there, competing, doing the best version, being the best version of them they can. I've seen Jamon during these scrimmages, and both Smile and Jamon create many plays, and I'm very excited. They've done, like, way better than me when I was a freshman. So, like, they they make a lot of eye-popping plays in practice. So I'm just waiting, like, really excited to see them get out there, honestly. Hey, Channing, I wanted to ask you about Keely Ringo. You know, he's a guy, obviously, he had shoulder injury last year. He obviously, you know, didn't get to play. To see him get out on the field the other night, just what was that like to see him finally get out there and show what he can do? And, and just what do you think about how he played? Uh, I felt like Keely Ringo played wonderful. I feel like uh, he had a lot of, like, uh, I want to say he would get, like, uh, near the beginning during his injuries and whatnot, kind of downish and upish and whatnot, but he didn't let any of that stop him. And he just kept pushing forward. Again, just trying to be the best version of him. That's a, something that we really harp on, just being the best version of who we can be, not worried about anybody else, what's going on. And that's how you become the best is by worrying about yourself and what you can do. So, and he really took that in effect, and the results showed. Go to Connor and then Vance. Hey Channing, how is what's Nolan Smith like off the field, and how has he sort of developed as a leader? I know Kirby Smart had mentioned that a little bit earlier. Uh, Nolan is the most vocal person in our locker room. I say that. Whenever we're doing team runs since the summer, it don't matter if it's a practice, he is always yelling. This guy, come on, come on, do what you need to do. It don't matter what it is. Like Nolan gonna gonna be there. If if you messing around, Nolan gonna get on you. Like Nolan is a true vocal leader of the team, like the energy of the defense in a way.
Hey, Steven, is it cool if I yield my question to Davis? Davis, go ahead, please. Thanks. Uh, Channing, one, do you think that you and Nicobe are the fastest pair of inside linebackers in the country? And two, could you just talk about the importance of playing with speed? Uh, I don't, don't be worried about everybody else. Like I said, just worried about me. Uh, Nicobe, pretty fast. Smile, super fast. Jamar, really fast. Like the whole room, like it's just about competing at that point. But I, de I definitely feel like we uh, are the top defense as a whole in the league with speed and physicality alone. So just working on that. All right, we've got time for two more if anybody has a follow-up. Uh, Channing, I mean, um, can you just kind of speak on a game, kind of how, how you take advantage of this opportunity and why you felt like it, it was important to hang around in the age of a transfer portal and kind of stay around this program and kind of earn your time. I mean, I know you've had it um, a little bit more last year, but it felt like it came at you um, uh, immediately, you know? Coming in, I just knew, like, I didn't know a, a lot about inside linebacker. I really was uh, on the line coming here. So, like, just coming here, I just knew, like, it was going to take me a little while to, like, understand it. But I didn't, like, I didn't try to use that as an excuse, like, to leave or anything like that. Uh, I really believe in Coach Schumann. He was a big reason on why I stayed. Just the things I was learning from him and the things I'm still learning from him now. It just made, like, was a big factor in me staying. I feel like I know way more that will uh, prepare me for the next level. Channing, forgive me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me you look a lot different than when you got to UGA. You look a lot bigger uh, through the shoulders and arms. Am I just wrong? Did you show up like that, or have you put on a uh, – yeah, that, exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> talk about your uh, body transformation since you got to UGA. Well, uh, that's all thanks to uh, Coach Sinclair, Coach Mo, Coach T. We have great coaching staff or whatnot. Coming in, honestly, I was like 218. So I'm like 232 right now. It's just, uh, coming in, just uh, grinding, taking them protein shakes. Uh, doing what I got to do. I knew I had to get bigger. As soon as I walk in, you see you see them. Jo people like Jordan Davis, like 6'6", 330 pounds. I can't just be taking on those blockers, looking the way I was looking. So I had to do what I had to do. Yes, sir. I understand. Thank you.